Can baking soda whiten your teeth? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about baking soda. <sighs> First of all, I have to say that baking soda is still a bit controversial, I guess. It's still being talked about a lot in the dental world with lots of different views. Some dental professionals will tell you to never, ever, ever use baking soda on your teeth because it's too abrasive. However, the more updated frame of thought with new abrasivity charts is that it's actually not that abrasive and it actually might be okay to use. However, according to the ADA, the American Dental Association, it is still not approved to brush with baking soda straight from the container. And we'll talk more about their reasoning for that, which I agree with their reasoning. We'll talk more about that in a bit. But first, for the purpose of this video, if we're talking about baking soda for teeth whitening, it's important to understand that baking soda is mildly abrasive, as is whitening toothpaste, so it may help reduce stains a little. But the fact of the matter is that baking soda can't actually whiten teeth because peroxide is what whitens teeth. Again, same thing goes for whitening toothpaste, and I do have a video all about that if you'd like to learn more, but quick recap, whitening products, such as whitening strips, whitening trays, whitening gels, etc. they are all formulated with peroxide to penetrate and oxidize the stain particles inside of your tooth, physically making your teeth shades whiter. Baking soda can't oxidize. It can't penetrate and whiten the teeth. It can only help reduce staining. It can't physically make your teeth shades whiter like peroxide does. I have other videos all about whitening and whitening safety and another one all about the differences between peroxide straight from the bottle and peroxide and whitening products. They are not the same concentrations. So I'll link all of those whitening videos in the description box if you'd like to learn more. But back to baking soda again. Although, yes. Lots of our parents and grandparents grew up in a day when it was totally normal to brush their teeth with baking soda straight from the baking soda container. Nowadays, we have access to much better brightening and whitening resources, such as the strips, trays, and gels. And again, although yes, baking soda can help reduce stains from forming, stains from coffee, tea, etc., any whitening toothpaste will do that exact same thing for you. Which brings me back to why the ADA doesn't approve baking soda straight from the container. I know the argument is that baking soda straight from the container is cheaper than using a baking soda formulated whitening toothpaste. So that's why a lot of people want to use regular baking soda. But really, it's only cheaper because it's not a toothpaste. It's not formulated for the purpose of brushing your teeth with it, you know? But the big thing is that baking soda straight from the container does not have any anti-cavity properties. And preventing cavities is the number one reason that we brush our teeth with toothpaste. The health medical dental reason toothpaste exists its purpose is to prevent cavities. And since anti-cavity ingredients like fluoride or hydroxyapatate are not found in baking soda containers, of course the ADA is not going to approve it. It doesn't protect against tooth decay. So if you are brushing with baking soda straight from the container, to prevent cavities, you need to also brush with a cavity prevention toothpaste. So my argument is, if you want to use baking soda, why not just get a toothpaste where it's already formulated in it? or any type of whitening toothpaste instead of brushing twice or trying to mix it with your toothpaste and making a mess. And you know, baking soda alone also tastes kind of gross. <laughs> it's much more pleasant when it's formulated in an already made toothpaste. So if you are eager to use baking soda, my best recommendation is to find a baking soda toothpaste. You can find lots of whitening toothpastes in stores or online. I'll put some product links in the description box. And even better, if you really want to follow the rules of dental safety, check out the ADA's website to find one that is already ADA approved. I'll of course, link the ADA code of seal list in the description box of this video as well. But in all, just remember that baking soda can't whiten teeth. It can only help reduce stains from forming, which you might like if you drink stain causing beverages daily. So use it, don't use it, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that one, you're using proper toothbrushing techniques to remove plaque and debris from your teeth twice each day. And two, you're using a toothpaste with fluoride or hydroxyapatate twice each day for cavity prevention. And if you don't currently like the shade of your teeth, if they're not white enough for you to effectively whiten, you will need to use actual whitening products. And again, I will link all my whitening videos in the description box if you'd like to learn more. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.